What's up everybody, welcome back to Toge Lab. Today we're going to be upgrading our front brakes on the Rocket Bunny S13 with some 370Z Actibono brakes. As you can see here, we previously already installed the 300ZX brake setup on the S13. So what we're going to do here first is to remove the retaining clip for the brake. Next we're going to remove the brake line from the chassis. Now we're going to remove the two bolts holding the 300ZX calipers in place. Next we're going to remove the 300ZX rotors and install the 370Z rotors as well as the adapter to mock up where the caliper needs to go. We ended up removing the rotor to get better visibility of where the bolts mount for the adapter. And now we're going to do a mock-up of the adapter with the caliper. On the bottom, it's the bolt, wave washer, washer, knuckle, and then the adapter. With the mock-up completed, we're going to install the adapter, and then we're going to move on to the rotors, and finally the caliper. We put the wave washer and a washer on the bolt and then the big spacer and that mounts onto the knuckle and then right behind the knuckle we have these three washers and then the adapter plate. We ended up getting a longer bolt and added three washers between the knuckle and the adapter. The reason why we got a longer bolt uh, was to ensure that all the threads were engaged into the adapter and this was due to the fact that the three washers made the black bolt that came with the kit unusable. With the adapter loosely installed, we're going to mount the caliper onto the adapter and this goes in front of the adapter and our bolts to install the caliper goes on the back side of the adapter. With the caliper installed, we're going to go ahead and tighten up the adapter bracket. Now we're going to remove the calipers to install the 370Z rotors and then put the calipers back on. We didn't film the install process of the brake lines as that's just the removal process but backwards. Please note that you still need to bleed your brakes after upgrading your brakes as well as you will need a shorter banjo bolt for these calipers. 
After tightening up all the bolts, including the lug nuts on the rotor, I double checked the clearance on the caliper pads and made sure the rotor was center locked. Here are some shots of the front brake setup. We ended up powder coating the calipers red. Excuse that the brakes are a little bit dirty. This was after a few track days. Here's two other shots of the brakes with some CE28s and some TE37s. In the next video, we're going to be installing the rear 370Z brakes on our S13. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.